Dark Knight's metal. Yeah. It's so much. It is a current Batman story that is going on. Um, Let me tell you. Yeah. Probably about to get lost. It's, <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's fun. You should, you should. It's, uh, so it's, it's a rebirth story. It's the, I think it's the first major, um, like, Batman, like, crossover event. Because it's, as much as it is a Batman story, it brings in a lot of other characters. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty safe. I mean, yeah, I mean, not not to say that there hasn't been other Batman crossover stories, probably. I, mean, but I think this, this is the first big Rebirth one. Okay, yeah, probably in Rebirth, and probably, I, I would be willing to say it's maybe the biggest Other than overall. maybe Endgame, if you count, like, the part where he had, like, the Justice Buster suit. Oh, uh, yeah. But I, I wouldn't count that. Mm-hmm. So, so, we, I, I don't know if we talked about this, maybe I was thinking of something else, but, so this, it, it's a, um, dark multiverse. So yeah. is that like, um, <clears throat> so there are multiverse, but then there's like a copy of the current multiverse called dark multiverse. It, yeah, it's like, essentially, if you just have the multiverse, you flip it upside down, on the other side mm -hmm. is the dark multiverse. Gotcha. It's okay. like a parallel Earth. But for the multiverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, and that's uh, yeah. That's but, a lot. but there's certain there's certain aspects of the multiverse that are consistent though. Like for instance, the endless that we talked about like two episodes ago. Yeah. Um, when we talked well, about the... well, this this conversation was meant for two two weeks ago. Yeah. So. Yeah. It really was. <laughs> um, so hopefully you've uh, been keeping up with our episodes. But if not, that's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll sum everything up for you in a nice little package. Yeah, we thank you for listening today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and please come back next week. Yeah. Um, but, so The Endless, um, first appearing in Sandman comics, uh, are these uh, beings that represent, like... Kind of abstract concepts. Yeah, abstract concepts that are, like, uh, they're above gods, you know, like, because even gods can die, but one of the endless is death. And then there's dream, delirium, desire. Desire. I think they used to have destruction, but destruction isn't there anymore. Yes. Oh, did destruction die? It's it's a Sandman thing, and we're not talking about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. But so, so, yeah, the, the, end, the, 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 the endless way. still operate within the dark multiverse, though. But yeah, right. if you want to get a feeling on, like, how big the storyline is, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half pages of this notebook filled both, out. Both, both sides. With yeah. well, just information on Dark Knight's Metal, and I don't have anything. There are preludes I haven't talked about, and this is already out of date, because they've released the origin for Batman Who Laughs. And uh, Batman Lost. In the last two weeks, look, comics is changing so fast. There's just so more fast. stuff happening all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, I felt crazy. That's why you when need I to listen to the show. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So do we want to start? Okay. So a brief I mean, overview. We have, well, we'll, we'll get into more started. specifics, but basically, Dark Knight Metal. So there's a dark multiverse, and within specific Earths are these different Batmen, and. The, they each correlate to a member of the Justice League. So wait, oh, hold on. Uh, so if I understand you correctly, is it one Earth that has all these Batman, or no. multiple Earths? Multiple, multiple Earths. Earths on the Dark Universe. Yes. yes. Okay. So wait, so like a Batman Aquaman? Yes. Yes. Can he breathe underwater, or yes. is it just like she Bat can? She yeah, can. yeah. It's or like, is it just like why is it why is it like, called Batman? Well, okay, yeah. Well, actually, it's, it's called the drown. I feel like it could be, yeah. oh, okay. like be way funnier if she couldn't breathe underwater and it was just like like a mortal Batman like swim around. This is, <laughs> this is not a funny book, let me tell you. Yeah. It's oh. dark. Well, she thing. If you couldn't tell from the title. Dark Nights. Oh, jeez, everything's dark in these. It's, it's uh, Dark Days the Forge. It's Dark Nights the Casting. It's actual Dark Nights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but okay, so yeah, uh, for, for instance, there's the Drowned, which is the drowned. which is essentially Aquaman Batwoman, because it's not a Batman. Yeah, it's a it's a gender bent universe? I don't know what the... Like, yeah. everybody, everybody who is a gender is the opposite gender on this universe. Yeah, it's uh, Jake's world. a girl. Yes, if I exist in this universe. <laughs> well, you do exist in this universe. 
No, not in, in the DC universe. <laughs> Tail on? <laughs> I'm, I'm just making, I'm just keeping you on it. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, it's Bryce Wayne, because that's apparently how you do that. Um, and Sylvester Kyle died at the hands of some rogue metahumans, and this drove uh, Bryce crazy, killed all the metahumans on Earth. Ah. Just all of them, straight off. That's how you open the comic, with kind of genocide. <laughs> and, well, it is genocide, but yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> I think the exact numbers have to be a different thing for it to oh, be like okay. complete I mean, genocide. S- the semantics of genocide is a little bit rough. Like, like I said, <laughs> not a happy book. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so this prompts this outright murder by Batman. Permanent justice. Per- <laughs> permanent justice <laughs> by Batman prompts the um, prompts Atlantis to come to the surface world to kind of broker for peace. So at, at this point, it's kind of revealed that. Aquaman is not a thing in this universe as a hero. He's just kind of a folktale, same as Atlantis. It's kind of a myth. It's a myth, essentially. It doesn't really exist until they come up to the surface world and try to um, uh, sue for peace, essentially, even though they haven't really fought yet. Mm -hmm. They saw Batman permanently adjusting all these metahumans who didn't do much, who may or may not have been affiliated with Selina Kyle's murder. Yeah, which uh, which also... Yeah, also, to be clear, so it was Sylvester Kyle who got killed, which is the gender bend version of Selena Kyle, which is Catwoman. Yep. So. <laughs> sure, that makes sense. So they got killed, and that turned Bryce to go crazy. Yes. Oh, gotcha. Right. Well, it, yeah. I wouldn't say she's super crazy yet. Okay. It gets worse. So she, she, so it's what? degenerative. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. So Batman sees the Atlanteans suing for peace and like, hmm. Too good to be true. Why didn't they show up sooner? I don't trust them. And so Batman uh, attends these peace talks. And this is Bryce, right? Or, yeah, Bryce. Okay. Uh, so, so, so is she officially Batwoman before oh, this? Oh, yeah, she was, she was Batwoman before. Okay. got it. And then, like um, they're doing now in... Uh, oh, shoot. Who's who's writing that? Where uh, Bruce and Selina are engaged. Oh, I... It was after the War of Jokes and Riddles. Which you is got what? me. Oh. Nope, we're not talking about it. <laughs> is that a Sandman it's, story? No, no, no. no. It's, a, it's, it's, Joker it's literally versus a war Riddle. between Joke, Joker and Riddler. Okay. And Batman that, and that's Gotham all we need to say. is kind Just of stuck for, in between. That, that's all we need yeah. to say. This, and that leads into Batman actually being engaged with Selina Kyle. Somebody's writing that. It's uh, kind of a side story. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, uh, Bryce Wayne doesn't trust them. Um, attends the peace talks. The peace talks go badly, and uh, Bryce, uh, yeah, kills Aquaman, like straight off in the peace talk with her own trident. Okay. So that kind of sour stuff. Yeah. So like, is, is, is that, is that like, how they got they soured? Is that how the peace talks? Well, no, they soured. And then people started fighting as oh, you do okay. with peace talks. Yes. Somebody got stabbed with their <laughs> trident. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what, what, what do you do? What do you do? All right. Um. In retaliation, uh, Atlantis just drowns Gotham. Oh, nice. <laughs> straight off, mm-hmm. that, that wipes is, Gotham from the face of the earth. That is a everybody nice in it, except for Bryce, <laughs> who genetically modifies herself to be able to Man, breathe water, water. <laughs> have a healing factor, control water. She also like genetically engineers a bunch of captured Atlantean soldiers, so that okay, they can fight so, for her. So they're like. Deadpool from X Men Origins. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Man. I don't know why you bring that up. <laughs> well, because uh. it's a mix. Like he's a mix of mutants. But yeah, she she changes her DNA so she can fight underwater. Also, the irony being that she killed metahumans and was against them, and then goes on to make herself basically a metahuman. Yep. Does um, she hate herself? Does she hate herself or hit herself? Hate. <laughs> hate. I mean. <laughs> Right now, she's focused on just like hating everybody, cause this gotcha. this is the world that like took uh, took um, Sylvester away from her. Blah blah blah. blah. Gotcha. <laughs> the whole world is to blame. Whatever. Yeah. I hate so the universe. At, it's at this point where she goes like, uh, unsaved. Off, off the deep end. Ah. <laughs> yeah, two <laughs> punches. <laughs> she goes completely off the rails. So like she's like as she's fighting, she's capturing these, um, she's Atlantean soldiers, and she's converting them 
through mind control brainwashing and you know some surgery um, <laughs> into her own soldiers and she calls them dead water whatever so mr pig meets uh, a little bit of mr side. pig actually yeah um, and so they take over atlantis you know murder everybody cuz you know and then he just drowns the earth just all of it oh. wait bryce does bryce yep okay just drowns the whole earth hmm. um, and so, then wait wait can she control water oh yeah more than Mara can. oh okay like that's that's later in the story so after she drowns the whole earth, she sets up this beacon to attract any survivors so she can continue just building her army, even though there's nobody left on earth to stop her. <laughs> huh, yeah. Just in case, like, Darkseid no shows up or something. <laughs> or gotta, they want to invade another Just got to build up the army. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so it's at this point... Um, oh, so you said that uh, Darkseid, they exist outside of time? So or that out, outside of... The multiverse. So does that mean that the dark side, if she were to meet dark side on this dark multiverse, it would be the same? No, uh, it's a different dark yeah. side. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because, oh, uh, that, that's different. Okay, but I, I just because wanted to make sure. this isn't, okay, so two things about the dark multiverse. These Earths are doomed to fail from the moment they exist. Mm -hmm. Something is just wrong at their core, and eventually they will just cease to exist. After some, Maybe it's after something happens. Maybe it's after a certain amount of time. At this point, after... She sets up a beacon and has drowned everybody on Earth. Uh, Bryce Wayne's Earth is doomed to fail. And so it's mm -hmm. at this point that uh, the Batman who laughs, which is the Joker Batman, uh, shows up, recruits her to Barbatos. Barbatos, whatever. Barbados? <laughs> sure. That's how I pronounce the, it. The <laughs> island of the Caribbean? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's okay. So the second part, this isn't happening to only Batman. To only Batman. This is also happening to Flashes, and Wonder Woman, and Superman. So there are different alternate evil versions of all the superheroes out there just existing in the dark multiverse. All we've seen so far mm -hmm. is the Batman. Because they're the ones that survive. That's the, that's the, <laughs> that's the opening hand. Okay. Barbatos could call any of them forward. So is, 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 he, is Barbatos a person or a place? It's a... Like an, an entity? An entity? Yeah, I'd say okay. it's an entity. All right. At least. Towers unknown mm -hmm. other than can just suck the life out of Superman and, and Wonder Woman with, like, a hand gesture. Okay. All right. So, pretty up there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so that's back to Dark Knights. Um, this, the Drowned is just one of the Batman of the, like, kind of reverse Justice League, Batman Justice League, I don't know, Dark Knight, Dark Knights, DK Metal. whatever. Yeah, we, they, they really need a team name, like, more than just the title of the story. I think they're called the Dark Knights. Okay. But, you know, it's, yeah, it's essentially that a sounds... Batman Justice League. That could be very confusing. That is being used to invade Earth Zero, which is the main DC Earth. Yeah, not to be confused with Earth Prime. So it's not the Dark Multiverse, it's the actual, like, multiverse that we know. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, uh, he just, like, Barbados just wants to invade for whatever reason, power, fun, whatever. And he's, Revenge on Batman for some unbeknownst reason. <laughs> yeah, and so he and so he uses Batman to just kind of invade Earth. And so, and so because of Batman Lost, we learn about um, all these other versions of different characters. Like, because there, there's a Superman Doomsday hybrid. Mm. There's a Flash and weird, like, mechanical spider legs combo. <laughs> So, wow. so this, there are dark he, versions. Wait, okay, okay, wait. If if Flash had had robot legs, could he still run? Like, Otherwise, he's not the Flash, Cody. But I mean, like, uh, I mean, there's so there's limits to the machine. Yeah, he can't get faster. <laughs> Maybe he built it out of the cosmic treadmill or something. Okay. Ah, good point. Okay. <laughs> there's also like treadmill uh, there's feet. A, there's a Batman <laughs> Lex Luthor combo out there somewhere. They just exist somewhere in the dark multiverse. Okay, and they haven't established, like, it's it's assumed to be true because it's supposed to be a flip of the normal multiverse, but they haven't confirmed that there's 52 dark Earths. I, I think there's more. There's because more. Because they are constantly getting just erased from existence, mm. and then I assume something else, like, comes and takes their place. So, you know, one head gets chopped off, one comes back kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but not two. Yeah, well, the, 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 the one head, one comes back. And yeah. so, and Barbados can just 
pick and choose at will which ones he wants. Mm. So, so, so is the dark multiverse? Is, is it like his? Uh, I, I don't know what you call them, but uh, petri dish. I guess, yeah, petri dish. That implies a level of control that I don't yeah, think yeah. I don't, has. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think he's essentially for for people that are really wrapped up in the DC mythos, and we might get here. But I don't think that he's the Dark Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> or, okay. <laughs> it's, it's it's weird again because is, is it possible that he could be? It, it's I, possible, I guess. I, I find mean, it very unlikely. Yeah, I. All right. Yeah, I think he's he's an observer and he can influence it a little bit, maybe just by like taking, like, yeah, kind of plucking yeah. what he wants. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I don't think he can make something happen. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that. Let's fold back into like the main Dark Knights thing. Okay, so what what character is next? We got a- Aqua Woman drowned. Well, let's 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 talk about um, the actual Dark Knights metal. Oh, okay, gotcha, here for gotcha. a minute. Okay, yeah. so that was like what? Uh, that was uh, the just, lead up. Uh, maybe. Okay. That that was that was a character bio for a character we haven't met yet. So, okay. <sighs> Jake, don't sound so, like, taken down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a good storyline. So I like it. Here's Dark Knight's Metal number one, is, which is where we'll start, which isn't the actual start. And it's, like, six of them, right? So No. No? No, this is this is the storyline of Dark Knight's, not the Dark Knight's. So, no, like, no, no. you said Dark Knight's one. Like, like yeah. Like, he issue means, number is there, one. Is there okay. going to be six issues? Yeah. yeah maybe. I don't know. Oh, okay. There's probably going to be more. Okay. Um, you've got the Wikipedia page yeah. open. Um, okay, so, opens up in the, in, like, uh, pre, prehistoric Earth. Mm-hmm. So there are three tribes of man in the DC mythos. There's the tribe of the wolf, the tribe of the bear, and the tribe of the hawk. The tribe of the wolf is with Vandal Savage. The tribe of the bear is with the immortal man. The tribe of the bird is Hawkman. Mm-hmm. And they've, they've all been, um, they are all functionally immortal. Well, actually... Vandal Savage and... No, 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 no. Immortal Man is actually immortal. Vandal Savage and Carter Hall are functionally immortal because they were all exposed to Nth Metal, which somehow gave Carter Hall and Vandal Savage the ability to... Um, reincarnate. Reincarnate throughout time. And while Carter Hall begins to be aware of it around um, ancient Egyptian times, it's implied to have occurred long before that happened. Mm. So he was exposed to Nth Metal long before ancient Egypt? Yes. Okay. Even though that's when his like origin as Hawkman kind of begins. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's gotcha. been exposed to it before. Also, um, so yeah, let's not to get too wrapped up in it, but Carter Hall is Hawkman. Yep. And Vandal Savage is a reoccurring DC villain mm-hmm. um, that is, yeah, basically functionally immortal. Um, and then there's just the Immortal Man, who was like the other caveman with Vandal Savage so, when he. So this goes. So this are, goes all there are, the way. There, back. there are two bios of Vandal Savage that I know of. Is that he? He was just alone. He was a caveman that was alone, and then he was exposed by Nth Metal. But then there was also he was tied to um, Carter Hall and the oh, Hawk Girl. Oh yeah, the the Legends of Tomorrow origin. Is is that is that mainly what it is? I think so. Okay. Yeah, that's the Legend of Tomorrow because the um, half set is the a villain in Hawkman mythos that Vandal Savage kind of replaces in Legends of Tomorrow. Okay. Half set is a different thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but the wolf and the bear, or Mister Immortal and Vandal Savage, were cavemen who just kind of ventured upon this uh, meteor, right? meteor, which contained nth metal. Um, Vandal Savage was exposed to it, and that's why he's functionally immortal. Mr. Immortal just, like, made a necklace out of it, mm-hmm. and so he just carries it around with him all the time. Hmm. So he's, okay. like, immortal immortal. Okay. So... Like, cannot be harmed immortal. But what what if they took off the necklace? He, he'd still be, have 10,000 years worth of exposure. Oh, okay. He'd still probably be okay. tougher so, than Vandal So Savage. it's, like, accumulative. Probably. Okay. Also, why didn't, like, I mean... You know, you'd think that Vandal Savage would start doing that as soon as he caught on. <laughs> well, Ed Metal, as we'll find out, pretty rare. <laughs> but I mean, this is a whole meteor. Like okay, a... so there, and then the bird tribe splits into two. Oh no! One following Hawkman, the other following 
Oh, listen to this. The Court of Owls. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hear one of them. Yeah, oh, okay. man. Okay. So, a brief bio of the Court of Owls. Where do you start with the Court of Owls? Um, yeah, because, I mean, like, obviously they were kind of like... So they're a secret society that Batman it, fights, and that's it. Like that's a, that's all that's all we need to go kind into of. right now. I mean they're like the Gotham Illuminati. <laughs> okay, Except not just for Gotham, as we learn in this story. Previously just for Gotham in Scott Snyder's run, but now it isn't. Now they're now they're worldwide. Yeah, mm -hmm. and also um they have like uh assassins that they freeze from Talon? time. Oh I know. No, yeah, no, yeah, they're called Talons. Oh they are? Okay. Yeah. Because you know it's like an owl and they're and or yeah. they're they're yeah, they're talons. Talons. Yeah. 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 Owls, owls have like, talons. <laughs> talons, other weapons. Yeah. 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 They just like freeze them, and then like when they're like, oh, we need them, and they're yep. like, uh -huh. they're, yep. they're, they're, they're like, like they bring out like their industrial, yeah, they bring out their industrial like, blow dryer, and they're like. <laughs> <laughs> so have they? So, for going off of a movie that they made of the Court of Owls, have they mastered them like self destruction? Uh, like so, they can't they can't be away from freezing out of a certain amount of time. Is that uh, a problem that they have? Or I think that's why they brought in Mr. Freeze in the actual Court of Owls storyline, mm. was that they were having trouble. Like, some people were unfreezing and were, like, straight up crazy, which works once or twice. Oh, no, what, what I meant was that once they released them, that they only had a certain amount of time to be outside. Yeah, before the, the time's like, whoa, what? <laughs> or, or, well, you know, the, the, I think that he means they degenerate. Yeah. Like, body. Just yeah, I think, oh, yeah, th I think Mr. Freeze like, solved hey, wait, that at some point because... Um, <laughs> Even in this storyline? Well, in the Court of Owls storyline, and it's the same Court of Owls. Okay. So I think they solved it because they were trying to kill Mr. Freeze, and if they hadn't solved it, then they wouldn't be trying to kill Mr. Freeze. So. Yeah. And um, also, one more point, even though it's probably not relevant, but I just really like it. Um, all of the Talons are in some way related to Dick Grayson. Yep. Like, it's, like direct it's all relatives. down the line. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he was supposed to be the next one. Uh-huh. Okay. And then Bruce Wayne took him in. Yep. Oh. Okay, that I do not know. And that know. was supposedly, or no, that wasn't the start of when the owls were interested. It started when, you know, he was born, because the Waynes, and they're like power peddlers, but not as much as the Court of Owls. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah. They're people peddlers. Anyway, so yeah, and so this, this these tribes broke off into bird and bat because of Barbatos. He, he somehow influenced them, influenced them okay. when he was on the earth. How he got on Earth, if he started on Earth, who knows? Well, you, it's like, oh man, it, it's like Dark Side. how like, the, just his presence turns the Earth into like... Well, no, he was, he was influencing people in the, yeah, yeah, in he, the he, bird he, tribe he, he had to a separate. Plan. Oh, okay. It's a long plan. <laughs> um, and he, he must be immortal, so therefore he has an infinite amount of patience. Oh yeah, he's got tons of patience. Anyway, mm -hmm. so this, yeah, this starts... Uh, crossing between a bunch of different comics, like uh, Justice League 52 and 53, they, uh, Justice League is off of Earth. While they're off of Earth, this mountain rises out of the ground in Gotham, killing thousands, displacing millions of dollars worth of buildings, and just kind of sitting there. Nothing seems to be happening. The Justice League show back up. Um, like, whoa, what is this giant mountain? It's like, yeah. What's the what's up with Gotham? <laughs> yeah, and it is like the mountain from the Challengers of the Unknown, which was like a golden age team of adventurers from the DC yeah. comics. And so they they go inside and they find this kind of weird pod looking thing. Green Lantern says it's the same kind of like resonance energy as the machine that he found in the secret Batcave in a prelude story that we're not going to talk about right now. Because it's all weird. He's Batman's got a secret Batcave with Joker in it. Not talking about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, and basically the machine... The, the, <laughs> the machine that creates Batman. Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. yep, that's why we're not talking about it. Uh -huh. um, okay, so before they can do anything with the... Um, like, like, they see this pod in there. And it's like, oh, what's, what's in it? We gotta we got do something. Maybe if we do stuff with it, the... Uh, mountain mountain will disappear. Away. But then... Kendra Saunders shows up. Who Hawk, hasn't been Hawk Girl. Or not what? though. Soon to be Hawk Girl, right? No. Really? Different character. Wait. Uh, because I thought... Shiera Hall is Hawk Girl. Okay, I thought is... Kendra Saunders was like her modern name. Nope, different person. <laughs> well, okay. I think. 
The way that it works out is that she was the granddaughter of um, Shara Hall, I think. Okay. And then um, there was weird stuff with um, with the, the Black Lantern's Darkest Night okay. storyline where she died. And er, basically Shara Hall, like, became her <laughs> instead. Okay. Which, like, shouldn't, like, yeah. And then, so yeah, after that, we see no more of Kendra, so Kendra Saunders. Yeah, and then Because she, what? Say that again. Because she doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Okay. After mm. after Darkest Night, when mm -hmm. she dies. Yeah. And then she gets reborn with the, at the end of the storyline. Okay. But it's as Shiera Hall. Yeah. Okay. Not as Kendra Saunders. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, but then she reappears, unexplained. Yeah, just yeah, she's, she's back. Yep. It's um, much like doesn't like John and Troy. In a way, kind of. Uh, we're not gonna get again. Into Wonder Girl. <laughs> um, yeah, Wonder Girl's complicated. Maybe a different episode, different time. So yeah, shows up, brings him to this island in the South Pacific, where she starts explaining that Carter Hall, Hawkman, has spent uh, his millennia on Earth investigating nth metal, what it could do. Why it made him immortal? Why it caused him to reincarnate? And this is all the, the time. same Carter Hall that they split off, or is this like they... yeah, like Carter Hall? I don't think is in the mainstream universe right now as Hawkman, at least. So, oh. so this is not dark, the dark universe. No, Carter right Hall. now they're in the the, the light universe. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um. So like he's been recruiting. It's revealed that he's been recruiting heroes and villains, basically all throughout time, just to try and anybody who is smart to try and learn about Nth Metal. Whether you were a hero, whether you were a villain, didn't matter. Mm -hmm. What was more important was finding out what Nth Metal did. Yeah, finding the truth. And so he, he learns that somewhere out there is a dark multiverse. Because Nth Metal, we talked about this earlier, has a vibrational frequency that doesn't match up with anywhere in the multiverse. And that's because it's part of the dark And that's because multiverse. it's about the dark okay. multiverse. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's dark matter, it's dark energy, it exists in between the atoms, I guess. Something, something dark matter. So it's the space between atoms. Yeah, it's, gotcha. it's weird. <laughs> and so, and in doing this, he also learns that th there's this being known as Barbatos that's trying to cross into the light multiverse. Mm -hmm. Why isn't exactly explained yet. Um, uh, uh, it's also revealed that Batman, or at least a Wayne, okay. is going to be what is going to be the doorway, is going to be what uh, Barbatos uses to get into the main DC universe. So he uses him as a vessel? Something? Or is as, he a More fairy? as a doorway. Yeah, okay. yeah. Kind of like Doorman from the Great Lake Avengers. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and here's where it gets weird. And it hasn't before. Just yeah. so you know. Okay, <laughs> so previously... Barbatos did not know about the light universe. He just lived in the dark universe and thought that was just the universe. Mm -hmm. The events of Final Crisis, where Batman gets shot back through time, makes him aware of the light multiverse. Okay. And then Barbatos starts this plan so that this person, Batman, is going to become the doorway by which he enters the light multiverse. Way back... In Paleolithic times, yeah, which is where where his his story of being sent back in time starts, and, and that's where like he has and, to complete a level yeah, in order to get. Yeah, that's that's also part of what uh, starts the uh, schism in between the bird tribe, oh, okay. the birds and the bats, mm. because like Batman was this was a part of the Return of Bruce Wayne storyline. Where like Batman was putting up these bat symbols to remind himself of who he was, but oh, it also God. made people think that there was this bat god out there, which they okay. started calling Barbatos. <laughs> nice. Okay. And so, like all throughout the Return of Bruce Wayne, they're trying to um, like sacrifice people to get Barbatos into the world. Okay. But it's it's like it's from the shadows that. Um, Barbatos manipulates events so that Batman will be in the right place so that he's exposed to things that will allow him to be the door. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, man, what is that? Oh, okay. Uh, Small of a reference right there. Okay, and so, so at this point, Batman runs away having stolen a piece of 
pure end metal from uh, the Black Hawk Island is the island in the South Pacific, is which this? is another Golden Age storyline or story with the with the, uh, the Black Hawks, but they're like a secret government organization. And so, like back to present day, when like Kendra Sonder has just like explaining what end metal is, Batman steals the thing of end metal, disappears. So this is current day. This is what. No, nope, this it. is still like two months ago. Wait, oh. okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I think what Talon means is current day as per the story. Not like, like, it's not like there's a flashback in the comic. He oh, means... okay, yeah, yeah, This is This is still during okay. present day. Okay. Yes. <sighs> okay, so Batman steals some pure nth metal mm -hmm. so he can do some tests or whatever. <laughs> Runs away, trying to find um, Carter Hall's journal, which kind of explains some more of this mm -hmm. um, without... Uh, without Kendra Saunders there. This is where Dream shows up. Okay. Dream, one of the endless, and this, is, this isn't this is something that um, DC brings up a lot because like they, they always exist kind of in the background of the story. It's mm -hmm. like, I, I don't even know a good way they, to explain they, it. They show up it's like, all of a sudden and then say, we're always there. It's like Galactus when you're reading a Spider-Man story. You know he's out there somewhere, but he's way off in space and it doesn't matter. That's what the Endless are, essentially. They're out there, but they're way out there. Yeah. So them showing up, or even one of them showing up and talking directly to Batman is a sign that stuff is about to go down. All right. So it's like the, the omens that they saw, like, oh, no, this battle is not going to be good. Like, yeah, like Dream comes out, talks to him, is like, yeah, your stuff is ready to go. Stuff is about to happen. Stuff's mm -hmm. about to go down. And it's going to happen because of you. Because of you, to you, <laughs> yeah. The, the why the, doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's happening. And yep. so that's the end of Dark Knight's one, okay. where it's oh yeah, this endless just shows up and starts talking to Batman. All right. Oh, that was number one. Oh, that was number one. <laughs> yeah. Except well, for the the sorry, Aqua the, the, the Woman beginning, part. Beginning. Yeah. It's, yeah, this was like the very beginning of like the pure storyline. There gotcha. were preludes I didn't talk about. Yeah. Oh, it's man. Oh yeah. So it, they, they they say Dark Knight Metal is a part of the larger crossover storyline, which include the eponymous six issue core miniseries. So that so that just means yeah, the Dark Knight's Metal is six issues. Okay. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> and uh, how many issues have come out? Two. Two, I think. Yeah, because uh, yeah, because they, they they're scheduled until February twenty eighteen. So that, that's, that's about six years. Yeah. I